Today, myself and T started our travels from Parker Bates HQ in Southampton and made our way to Dover. After that, a, a short journey on the Euro Tunnel. We then headed, um, obviously, through France, passed through Belgium, got through that Belgium bit. You know you're in Belgium because the roads are absolutely horrendous. <laughs> bang, 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 bang as you drive up the road through the car. So after getting through Belgium, you then t we then turn up into sort of the German Germany border, head through Germany, which is one hell of a blooming drive. It really, really is. And then then after that, entering Austria. So then we got into Austria. Beautiful it is. It really, really is. Um, the scenery, the houses, the, the, the it just really luscious green. It's just a beautiful place. As a general, got through Austria, headed into Hungary and finally arrived at Euro Acre, the home of the world record as well, and something very, very exciting for the next week to come for our trip, for the trip of a lifetime. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ben from Parker Bates, and welcome back to another video. You join me in the car and you're probably thinking, Ben, you ain't got a beanie on. It's very rarely you see me on the channel without a beanie on. I've got T next to me, the main man, <laughs> Mr. Fatty. And we're absolutely buzzing. The reason the reason why we're buzzing is we're, we're heading to, if you like, I'd like to say to the, the best of the best. We are heading to Euro Aqua and we're looking to catch. Um, it would be lovely, lovely to catch a PB um, going in for myself and T. Um, but it would be lovely potential world record you know there's a fish in there there's a couple of fish that have knocked that 100 pound barrier i think there's five and um, this is my second time there i didn't do a video last time um, but yeah t's first time overseas never been over overseas before first time overseas let's go to euro aqua baby <laughs> <laughs> We're heading to the Euro Tunnel now. I'll try and catch her a bit in that, but it is a little bit boring. But what is interesting is obviously the trip the other side, the, the countries we're going through, um, how long it takes, and bearing in mind we've got about an 18 hour drive ahead of us now. So it's how far can we get before we've got to book a hotel? That's kind of where we're at at the moment. If you haven't seen me before, my name's Ben, and like I said, this is the Parker Brothers YouTube channel. We upload every Sunday, 7.30, and we are starting to upload every Wednesday, 7.30 as well. So if you are free, particularly on a Sunday, 7.30, make sure you join the Parker Bates wave and smash that subscribe button down below. So there it is. That's, that's who I'm with. That's where we're going. <laughs> I'm absolutely buzzing, mate, and hopefully I can bring you a bang with tea, potentially a 100 pounder. So we got an hour and 20 to the tunnel. I'm sad traffic at the moment. Look at this, mate. It don't stop. It's just relentless. So we're going to sit back, stay positive. We're on a roll. So fingers crossed we get through the other side. No problems at all. They're on our way. So Tease is saying, what's your saying, mate? Say nine o'clock arrival. It's <laughs> not ideal, is it? Nine o'clock arrival. Mine's saying just before twenty-two nine. Mine's saying down there, and our tunnel is twenty past nine, and we allowed what an hour and a half, two hours. We've been two sat hours, in traffic yeah. now for over an hour, haven't we? And it's we've had fire engine, ambulance, police, all sorts go past. So yeah, it's not looking good, but it is what it is. Like you say, what can you do? You can't. You can only do so much. So we're just going to hope and pray, really. That's <laughs> all we can do. But I get in the loop when we do get closer. Fingers crossed. Well, whatever's coming up was our issue because from that point on, the cars are speeding off. So, fingers crossed, we're past what's ever, ever's happened. I hope everybody's all right, by the way, as well, and um, we can continue our journey. But it looks like a lorry's, oh my God. <laughs> Look at that, mate. Jesus. Yes, front ended something, can it, I think? Yeah, look at that, absolutely battered. And we're off, baby! <laughs> right, wow. There it is, six minutes to go. And our tunnel, mate, I don't know if you can see me, but our tunnel is 20 past. <laughs> <laughs> we are bum twitchy moment at the moment, if you like. Um, so yeah, you probably won't see us now until we're the other side, meaning getting on that Euro tunnel. 
Um, but obviously I'll keep in the loop of how we get on and what the crack is. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Fingers crossed it all goes to plan. We turn up, we drive straight through, we get on that tunnel and we're one step closer. Euro Aqua, baby. Woo! <laughs> right, well, I don't know if you can see that, but J3 is us. We missed it. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have had that McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> what did we get? What did we get? Show them what we got, mate. In the um, so what was it? Eleven quid. And mine was twenty-three. Absolute deals, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so we catch our fifty, sixty, hundred, whatever it is. That's it. We're going in. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, jubbly. So yeah, it is what it is. We're happy. Me and Tia are happy. You can't really ask for much more. And we've just got to wait. And that's what we're going to do. So fingers crossed, we don't get delayed anymore and that little bit closer to getting over there. Here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have it. So trust me and T to get tugged. <laughs> <laughs> coughs, coughs in his paper. We got tugged, um, but yeah, no problems at all. We're just going up to uh, the passport and now where the, fr where the French bit is and you give them your passport here. If anybody who hasn't been on the Euro tunnel before, you give your passport here, and then we should drive straight round and go straight on that tunnel. Fingers crossed again, let you know when we're at or getting on that train. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a child at Christmas tea, I really am, man. That's it, mate. <laughs> There's no other way. Buzzing. Absolutely <laughs> buzzing. We're, here. we're in the queue now, so if you flip that camera around, mate, obviously this is it now, we're there. So basically what happens now is you drive through this, drive through the main bit, get on the tunnel, and then the other side, you drive straight down, you're on the motorway, you don't get, well, I've never ever been to, uh, stopped the other side. So you get the other side, and then we're on our way, mate. Bring on That's the 15-hour drive. <laughs> <laughs> It's a tight one. <laughs> well, we're on, we're parked up, and now we've got a 45 minute journey, I think it is. I'm, I'm, I say that like I don't know. I've been on these hundreds of times before over the last decade, whether that be car shows, fishing trips. But yes, yeah, 45 minutes, give or take, and then you get over there. And then, like you said, I think it's 15 hours. We've got 15 hour drive. We've already done five, being that we hit traffic. So yeah, I'm smiling at the moment, but I'm sure I won't be, and I'm sure T won't be, in about <laughs> in about seven hours, five hours from now, early hours of the morning. So our plan of action is um, to save money on a hotel. I think what we're going to do is we're going to drive till rush hour tomorrow morning, or whatever you would call rush hour. Although over there, there aren't really a rush hour. It's completely different to over in our country. Come eight o'clock, the roads are locked and jammed. Over there, it just it always seems to be good unless there's an accident. Touch wood. So when rush hour kicks in or seven, eight o'clock in the morning, tomorrow, depending on how we're feeling, we're gonna stop, have a sleep for four or five hours, recharge, get going again, and try and get in hungry tomorrow evening, which is gonna be a bit of a mission, but it's possible. Um, then we can chill out Saturday night, have a few drinks, go out, have a nice meal in that. We are on holiday. This is morning tea's uh, annual holiday, and yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is months in the making. You know, it really is. If you can't already tell by the energy, and everything else going on and the, the woohoos! Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you could probably gauge that we're very, very excited. So that's the plan of action, get some sleep and then head to Hungary. Um, myself and Emma stayed in a little villa thing before, one expensive, so if we can potentially book that. You, you, it's got a safe parking space, you can also lock your car, then you get a key for the gates, which is also a, is a big one for me. Um, then I know our car, our, the car's safe and all the gear within the um, car is safe as well. We can then enjoy the Sunday, get up early on the Monday, head to the lake, which is then 15 minutes away from this particular hotel, again, if we get in it. Um, and then yeah, enjoy the madness. So there it is, like I say, I'm not gonna quit the touch base with you getting off the tunnel, because you've seen it now. You know what it's about. So I'm gonna touch base here, probably when we're a couple of hours in, or how we're feeling in a few hours. So there it is, I'm gonna sit back now, and chill out. Right, wow, well, it's half one. We've just come into Belgium, and we've now got 12 hours, 45 minutes of driving. 887 marks. Come on the carp, come on the Nosafix, and hopefully come on the Parker Bakes. But <laughs> sit back, lock on, and drive. That's the plan of action for now. I'll keep you in the loop.
we're two Red Bulls in, I'm three coffees in, <laughs> and he's driving now. So we've done 10 hours driving, um, we've got nine hours, 23 minutes left to go, 645 miles, so still a long stretch to go. Um, whether we do that all today, I don't know yet, but we're obviously going to give it a few more hours, maybe pull over, get a few hours sleep, and then obviously go again. The aim is to get the hungry um, today. So, it's weird saying that today, but it's now half past five in the morning. <laughs> Absolute madness. But yeah, got to be done. 76 miles on this road, and when we ended the road, it was at 95 miles. 95 yeah. miles, absolutely mental. So I'm going to leave T to it. And, um, this is where we're at at the moment. And it's light. <laughs> Driven all through the night. And we are keeping going, baby. T's on the wheel. It was all going so well, T, wasn't it? <laughs> Fucking was, going so, well, so well. Tinted windows, tinted rear lights, £180 fine. Thank you very much. The journey continues. <laughs> <laughs> base later on exactly what's happened um, but yeah just got my vignette from the service station five hours left got that little devil up there ready to go lovely jubby e we're in Austria and we've got two four hours 19 minutes left as if we're coming into Hungary. Now, when I come with Emma, I had exactly the same scenario. Nobody was in it. Drove straight through like he's doing now. We're hungry, baby! <laughs> we've done it. We're in Hungary now. So we've got an hour and 42 minutes. Yeah, buzzing for 83 miles. We haven't stopped. I think this is on that 18 hours, 46 minutes we've been driving. I do not um, advise to do this at home. <laughs> or do it yourself. But yeah, oh, so close mate, so close. Just going to take it easy, drive very carefully now. Look at the price of the fuel. So there it is, we're seeing signs, seeing signs, Lake Balaton. It's absolutely massive Lake Balaton and actually had the, I was lucky enough to fish it last time I come here. I got a day ticket with Emma and I just done a day on it and I didn't catch nothing but it was just a pleasure to say that I had a go on it. It's um you look out and it's like a sea. But that is a good sign because we are now one hour and twenty-three minutes away. Oh my god, a coach is trying to overtake it master! They're all nut jobs over here. Just pinking through there, guys, is Lake Balaton. Now we are two minutes away from our little hotel. I'm buzzing to have a nice beer, so <laughs> I'll see you very soon. Oh, mate, we're finally here. 20 hours driving. Look at this as well, guys. You know, I know it's not a lake, but the views get much better than that, really. This has cost us, I think it was £102 for two days, two nights stay, English. 
and um, there's a car parked down the bottom and I sort of teased it, I said, you know, we've got a lot of you know, thousands of pounds worth of gear in the car, fishing gear, so I sort of said, is, there any, is, is it all safe? And he said, you know what I'll do for you? He said, I've got a garage, which is sort of here. He said, I'll open the garage, you can put your car in, mate, and I'll lock it in for you. How's that? I was like, mate, you are an absolute legend. So what I will do is, um, between now and me leaving here, I'll try and show you exactly what, what this place is called at the beginning, because I don't know off the top of my head what it is called. You know what? There it is. That's how you pronounce it. You type that in and it comes straight up. That is the hotel name. And this is about 10 minutes away from Euro Aqua. Right, and a nice little stall bit here. I won't show you the toilet. Just tease in there at the moment. My little baldy friend. I don't know if I said, but that, that is Lake Balaton. Just there. How cool is that? I think this needs one of these, mate, doesn't chin it? Chin chin, your boy. Chin chin, <laughs> mate. To the biggest Nossa pig in the world, hopefully, or <laughs> PB standards. Yeah. Bring on the blank. Bring no, that. Don't say that. Don't you say that. After the day we've had. After the day we had, just very quickly, T, oh. well, I've got you there, mate. Just very quickly, I didn't say to people what happened earlier. So, obviously, with the police, oh. they come up next to us, didn't they? Then they pulled in front, didn't they? Yeah, we were pointing and laughing about the plate. Yeah, yeah. We know we're getting collared with a fine. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, exactly that. We thought they were looking at the plate, but no, they got in front and we it was. Yeah, yeah, us in a good way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's... Their hands. That's it, exactly that. Come up, follow me, didn't it? Then they pulled us off, and then, yeah, that was it, game over then. But, yeah, £118 fine, absolutely got it, but we've got to be positive and. To be fair, this hotel's helped us out massively because we've saved an absolute killing on this when we were looking at look, looking at stuff in France is two hundred and fifty pound a pop for a night. Twenty five quid each with breakfast. You can't go <laughs> with breakfast. I forgot that. And I go to the geezer, didn't we? He said, "What? What's for breakfast?" And he was like, "Well, pretty much what you want." He said, "We have some bread and some eggs and whatever you want." So yeah, happy days. And I and I also mentioned about how how much of a gentleman he was for the um, garage sitch. Yeah, what a lad, what a lad. What a lad, what a lad. So, time to neck these and um, head down, have some food. I'm not gonna record this, guys. I'm not gonna bring this down with me today because I just wanna chill out with tea and enjoy this lovely evening. So I'm gonna drink this and I will touch base with you tomorrow. Um, and we, I'll, I'll probably go down to Balaton and maybe get some drone footage and some bits and bobs like that. But for now, mate, let's have these and um, have some nice food. Cheers. Well, good morning guys, and you join us. Me and T, we're in the room, and uh, we're doing some rig prep and getting some bits ready for tomorrow. So let me just talk through last night. So we went out for some drinks. Obviously we said we we're gonna get some lovely food. And uh, <laughs> that didn't go to plan, mate, at all, did it? We, we, we head, headed down there and everything was shut. So it was obviously very seasonal here. Um, it was like tinging tongs when I was here with Emma in this sort of June time. It was absolutely heaving. There was just two people down there. So they all, everything was, even though all the fridges were empty, all the tables were upside down, meaning it was a ghost town down there. So unfortunately, we didn't even eat last night. Um, there was literally nowhere to get any food. So that wasn't um, great, but we woke up this morning, had a lovely breakfast at the hotel. That was included in the price as well, like T mentioned yesterday. Um, but yeah, plan of action is today. Oh yeah, we, this morning we done Balaton, we went to Lidl, um, had a little walk around in that. It's just a beautiful place, just sort of having tea a little bit. Went for a little drive, went up sort of 25 minutes up one end of it and that was that was quite nice, some beautiful views, lovely mountains and um, the sky was sort of in between the mountain as you were looking over the lake. It just looked absolutely incredible. So I'd like to try and get the drone up whilst, whilst I'm here before I leave today. And um, But now, plan of action is to make some make some rigs because I haven't done nothing because I've just been so busy prior to coming out over to, to fish these lakes or do all the driving and everything to of getting the freezes full. I was doing 13 hour shifts, 12 hour shifts with my mum, my dad, my brother, Neil, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all day long thumping bait out um, to make sure there was plenty in the freezers for when I was over here so Tom's not left in the lurch. So yeah, there, there it is, a little bit more of an update but I'm looking forward to now to sort of um, start making some rigs, it's sort of start, starting to set in, you know, even T, we were sat there down looking over the lake, having a coffee and that, and it was like, yeah, well, absolutely mega, like to think that tomorrow it's um it's happening, we're, we're, we're heading there and... Uh... <laughs> 
Oh, there's a few. I need to make a bag rig, but I've got a, a D rig there on Illusion. I've got a, a Ronnie and I've also got a Combi. Again, I'll talk in great more depth about these tomorrow, but I'm fishing quite long links as well. Um, he's over there doing his bits, but I just need to make one little solid bag rig, probably about that big, and I'm gonna call it a day because I'm not gonna go crazy, but we are gonna head down. Pop-ups in there, park of H pop up, I've got samples, I've got everything in there, wafters. Gear everywhere, look. If we come out here, the car's down the bottom now. We pulled it out of the garage and we're gonna go down and set up all our rods. So tomorrow, literally, no rigs. We just get all the rods set up so we can actually get there and ping the rods out. But look, I'll zoom in so you can see. And when we're down there in a bit, I'll bring the camera down with me so I can show you all the detail for this hotel. Well, there's rods out, there's gear out, there's Baldy out. We're getting there, we're getting there. Outboards, marker poles, vast shoes, a very loaded car. <laughs> and a nice view up there as well. So, T's still got his beanie on though. To be, to be fair, <laughs> so have I, if you can see me, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is where it was locked. That's where the car was parked last night. This bad boy. Now if I press A, that one, is it going to work? Hey, hey, there you are. Now, the reason why I'm doing it, you this, is to show you that there. So, that there is the details that you need to book this particular hotel, and it really has been lovely. The customer service has been great. You know, for the gentleman to let us put the car in his own garage, and I'm not saying that happens to everyone, I mean, he was just really nice, you know, we sort of said the situation, worried. And um, yeah, what, what a top, what a top bloke. And, but this is lovely, you know, safe. And this is like a back road here. It's all, it's all mad. Okay. And then you go down there, you turn left and there's a roundabout, you go down the thing, and it's probably, four minutes three minutes and boom that is valid palaton right over the back there and it goes all the way down i'd love to come back on just a holiday just to explore but not this time oh no not this time catching some nosser pigs this time mate ain't we <laughs> right time to carry on a few more bits to do get this back in and we're gonna get some food in a bit a couple of things what i've been doing is um i've put fresh line on so just to get that line, what I've been doing is I've been walking the line up there, the fresh line, pulling it really tight, cutting the line, and then T's been this end, holding it tight, and just reeling it in with his hands. No weights on the end or anything. It takes with a twist out. I've done it for years and um, works really well. So that's what I'm doing there. So I know tomorrow I ain't got to smash this from apart if I see a showing fish straight away just to get that line laid uh, properly. And also as well, I did wet the spool up as well before casting because a lot of people, especially fishing shop leaders or whatever you're doing, you don't put that water on, you're just going to get a frap up, especially when you put new line on. But that's what we've been doing, punch them up there. That line now, like line lay on there is bob on now. It really is on all three rods. So happy with that. A bit of tidying up to do, like I said. And then food time. Let's see if I can get this bad boy up. My new toy. Let's give it a go. Hey, 
Right, wow, I just got some absolutely amazing, amazing drone footage then. Yeah. Everything strategically placed in it. <laughs> Look at it, it's ridiculous, a mate. <laughs> a little bit low. Look at this. Ooh, ooh. <coughs> Nearly there, mate, aren't we? Down to the car, get some foodie bits. We're ready, and also, we're now. How long did it take, T? How long did it take to get the um, film off the oh, back? It wasn't too bad, it only took a couple of minutes, didn't it? Literally, no, mate, come off in one because they've been out in the sun all day, so it's a different kettle of fish um, when they pulled us, but yeah, that's sorted. So, right. I'll see ya soon. So we've just driven into the town. Sorry about the back and noise there, but the car's over there. It looks like we're gonna be getting some nice food. Oh, it goes to tea. I struggle reading and writing as it is, mate. Like, <laughs> but I can make out that, and I know that's a pizza, and everybody knows that watches the channel knows I love pizza, so that's probably my go-to there, but I'm going to have a little look through, see if we can work out what's going on. I've just ordered a beer, looking forward to that, lovely jubbly. Right, so I've just ordered food and we've ordered um, half of the menu I think, I've got a beer now with me, so I'm, I'm in the element now. So last night obviously it didn't go to plan, we didn't find a meal place, everything was shut, but excuse me, but now I'm in a scenario that I am, so I'm looking forward to having a few drinks, T's going to drive back and um, very, very, very hungry. So I'll let you know when the food turns up. And I'll see you in a bit. I just said we ordered half the menu, mate. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to it, mate. <laughs> There's T's, he's got his. I've got mine. Lovely, blooming, jubbly. Well, that looks fancy. So we've got that over there, some chicken, whatever that is. With the, um, so that's potato with sour cream and then chips as well. Happy days. Well, that wasn't a bad attempt at all. Tea's pretty much done. I'm done. Very nice food. This was about 20 minutes up up the road from the hotel. Finishing off that, I won't be driving home. Tea will. A lovely jubbly. What you got there, mate? Pancakes. Pancakes. <laughs> Happy days. Got to have a pudding. Well, I insist to be had a pudding, to be honest. <laughs> Can't sit here and say that. I'm always like, oh, man, I need to put it on going in. So there it is. Lovely jubbly. Ordered another beer. Put in time. Well, that was it. Food done. And um, tip the lady 15 quid English. So hopefully she's happy with that. Tea's got a bit of a headache. So, ready to go home, mate? Yeah, man. <clears throat> right, well, looks like a bomb sit in there. But that is the last bits in the car. And it's starting to bloom and rain, mate. Of course it's blooming gonna rain, isn't it? Had to rain. We got minuses coming in over the next couple of days. So frustrating, because when you've got so much riding on the same, this week, we've been waiting on this week for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and months and months, over a year. And uh, it comes round. And the blooming weather is horrendous, so. The first couple of days, it's bad. Down to like minus three, I think, or something. Tomorrow night's not great. Sorry, I'm trying to walk up without breaking my neck. And um, next day, so minus one, minus three, it goes to over the next couple of days through the midweek. It slowly starts getting better. And then um, we've got to go. So hopefully we can make it happen. That's all we can do. But I'm gonna keep them positive because it's within my grasp now, we're nearly there and I can't bloody wait, so look at that, I'm back up flick over to the keys to get back in over here somewhere but for now guys the Parker Brothers YouTube channel was just about to drop, it's, li it's live premiere tonight so I'm going to be watching that on the balcony up there watching the wind watching the the horrible weather out there, I'm sure. And seeing what this wind's doing, so I'm getting a gauge of 
what I need to do tomorrow. So here we go. Oh, yeah, I only really would have thought I'd run a marathon. And that one is just here on the left. Happy blooming days. Hopefully we see this little face here smiling next week with a hundred pounder or a Nosser pig, 70 plus, that's all we ask. Come on the Nosser pigs and good night and I'll see you all tomorrow. My thumb kind of looks like his head, doesn't it? Just a little bit. Hungry, baby. <laughs> Hungry baby. Oh, we got half an hour and we're gonna leave. We're only 20 minutes away, but we're just literally it's, it's raining out here. But we knew this. We knew this. We knew this was coming today. It's just pointless. Um, but hopefully it stops around nine and ten. It doesn't look lovely out here. I'm gonna miss this view. This view for sure. But everything's in the, in my bag, ready to go. I think. T's got his ready over there, he's got a few more bits to do. Make sure the shower's nice and then we're on our way. Well, just while I get five minutes and nobody's down here, this is the breakfast place. And uh, T looks happy now, he's got some food. We've got some rolls, I've got a little espresso there, some ham, some cheeses. I don't get sausage. Um, <laughs> beans, mushrooms, we've got a lovely um, scrambled egg and bacon coming in a second so I'll show you that and then we're going to be on our way that's it, a scrambled egg baby a sub minus 10 minutes oh, look at that and all, there you go my missus don't even do that for me mate <laughs> <laughs> see that mate, see that six minute drive come on the car and yeah I'm absolutely buzzing mate and T's behind the camera and he's smiling Woo! from here to here. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait mate. So yeah go, go in the pan of action I'm not going to record the first bit guys might get a bit going in. Um, you've got to turn up, you've got to uh, pay the family, make sure it's done, um, get your Euro Aqua book if you like so everything's legal and you're all good and um, yeah we're going to start fishing and I, like I said I cannot wait. This is it, the opportunity. Like TJ said, this is the year in the making, mate. Yeah, mate, you know. Hours of driving, months of prep. Yeah, this is it, so I'll see you soon. Here we go, rocking up through the gates. Excitement is an understatement for us <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh, mate, this is gonna be something special, hopefully. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can do this. Fingers crossed, mate. So this is the main track across the back. Last time it's been in not quite a year, but it was June when I was here, something around that sort of time. Right, here we go. Have a little pro here. <laughs> As if. As if. As if. Oh my god, here we go, baby. The wind's smashing in, so I'm gonna make this quick. But T's already seen a fish bosh right in front of us. It looks mega. And I didn't tell you, how long has the lake not been fished for? Four months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. Right, I'm going to leave it at that, digest what's going on, watch the water for a little second, and um, we need to get that bivvy set up, boy. Right, well, that was a bit of a nightmare, yeah, wasn't it? Not We're not very good. <laughs> this is when you need Garrett here, because he would have set this up within four seconds, but where when I even didn't know. It wasn't that easy, so look, heads or tails? I'm gonna go heads, mate. You right. flip it. Ready? Yeah. Tails. What is it? <laughs> one out of one then, do you have Go on then. No, no, do it. It's gonna be tails anyway, but you, you've got that deal. <laughs> tails again. <laughs> right, I'll go left. <laughs> Sam. To be fair, mate, we're fishing next to each other anyway, aren't That's we? It, so it really don't matter. 
Um, again, we're going to have to get some video when we're all set up and stuff, but I'm going to try my best to bring you some bits. But yeah, we're all pinned down. Everything's pinned down. I physically can't really do too much more. But it is a little bit worrying because of what happened last time. But hopefully that's all right. <laughs> Wow, it's been a bit of a boomer nightmare, this wind again. Look at the waves. Just about to see it, it's crazy. Jesus. It is absolutely madness out there at the moment and bait's out though, marker's out. Can't fault that, but we need to set a bivvy up. It's nearly pulling away my car, let alone the bivvy. So we've, we've dropped the bivvy down over there. So I can't be having that breaking. So I know that's gonna get picked up and we're gonna face it that way with the wind that can go right over the back of it if you like. And I think that's the best thing to do. So for now though, we're gonna chill out, have some food and that head over and um, go from there. Okay, Dinner sorted and we're back and it is absolutely horrendous. So let me just give you a gauge. <laughs> so yeah, what's the plan then mate? Well, just go and chill, watch the water for a bit mate, I think, innit? And wait until the wind dies down, yeah, calms down. Yeah, we can't, can't do nothing. Hours, we so. can't do nothing. It's going to calm down apparently very soon and then, and then we can get some rods out. I'm going to get a rod out anyway and that just maybe, but you can see the marker just out there. But yeah, horrendous. <laughs> we pick our days, mate, don't we? Yeah, mate, we love the bad weather. <laughs> oh my god. The guy down there is trying to cast. And it's a brilliant night. Look at this. Look at that. Is yeah, horrendous. Look at the bloody door open. <laughs> Him over. I managed to set my pod up down there and it is rocking. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you think of that? Oh, yeah, that's experience. <laughs> <laughs> that's experience, it was. Oh my god. Two in the morning, one in the morning, still going T-bone. <laughs> <laughs> Tent now finally up. Life is just not so good at the moment, but it will be later on tomorrow morning. Whee! It's a Bosch, there it is, first blood, Euro Aqua. <laughs> nice common, low 20. But I'm happy because it's the first one and that means a lot, so yeah. Get it. <laughs> so Bosch, <laughs> there it is, first one for tea, lovely scaly one. Low low twenty mate, in it. Yeah, almost, 25, almost looks like an English fish, doesn't it? It's got some lovely apple slice scales at the back of it, but lovely to get that first blood this morning and sort of one each. It sort of ticks off that blank, and we can start going from here, mate. Now, can't we? Yeah, you know, mate. Yeah. <laughs> 
Right, so that is the car gone. Back to the back to the car park after the storm. You're not allowed to leave your cars um, on the swim. But for the first night, because of the storm, Jack didn't obviously let us do that, so thanks very much. Bivy's now set up. Just a little bit out of breath because I've just driven my bike round. They're brilliant, they sort of lend your bikes here, which is great. You can get round to your swim that a little bit quicker or go to the toilet, whatever that may be, have a shower. But yeah, rods are coming in. We're doing a bait and um, the pole's out there standing strong she hasn't moved even in the wind <laughs> come on the carp on the boat <laughs> <laughs> going out now we're doing a morning feed the plan of action is to give them a big hit and then we'll give them another big hit tonight loads of their hemp loads of their maggots mate and we so it's gonna be interesting <laughs> right then guys i should probably touch on what's been happening over the duration of the last sort of 12 hours. It's been utter carnage to be honest with you and um, the wind is still crazy. We've had to set the bivy up four times. Um, we had a hundred kilometer mile per hour winds. Hun sorry, hundred kilometer mile hour winds. A hundred kilometer uh, winds. <laughs> and uh, as you can tell, I'm half asleep because I'm absolutely knackered because we didn't get much sleep last night at all. Didn't manage to get the rods out properly till about two o'clock. Um, and then we obviously nicked a couple this morning, which was great. Um, it really was, but it's been our going. And um, I can finally say we're set up now. The rods are on the money. Um, the car's now been dropped off, like I mentioned earlier, but the wind is getting worse and worse. It's meant to go up to about, um, it's meant to go up to about half of what it was yesterday, maybe three quarters of what it was and then cut off so fingers crossed we're pegged down they're absolutely brilliant here at euro aqua um rang up um is any possible to get some longer pegs straight away within 10 minutes they made these pegs these long pegs and we put them in so hopefully that should eliminate any problems going forward so i'm going to leave it at that guys and the reason for that is is that is part one of the euro aqua adventure if you like with myself and t um, bringing it to the Parker Brothers YouTube channel but I'm gonna leave it at that for now and hopefully you've liked the video so far and make sure you tune in next week for part two and if you are late to this and you haven't watched the live guys just remember to go over to the channel and just watch our part two of this video it'll be Euroaqua part two so yeah there it is I hope you like this video guys of sort of um, the coming over we might we got some bits and out obviously we had then the problems with the police and then we had everything else but we're finally here and um, yeah, hopefully a week of some absolute nosser pigs and some good fun, some good food, some good drinks. So like I said, I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. See you soon. Give us a thumbs up, make sure you comment down below. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward. I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.